Hello everyone, we are gonna be checking out this cool uh, Makita truck and all their uh, tools, their lineup. Um, they got lunch right now for uh, the grand opening of the new truck that they got going. So we're gonna get some, uh, some food and uh, see what kind of tools they got see what innovations they're into and maybe uh learn something new all right we're just a uh, couple minutes away we will see you there all right we're almost there we're gonna go see what they got going there's their truck let's go closer Let's see what they got. Oh, look, look who's over there. Some people I know. What's up, guys? What, what they got, just hot dogs? Hot dogs, pizza, and donuts. Hi, man. How are you? We got 10X right here, bro. Gutter, 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 gutter Empire. Woo. So hot dogs and donuts? I thought donuts were done at 7 a.m. Donuts was in the morning, but if you hurry up, you can get some donuts. There's like a couple more left. I thought you had the last oh, one. Nice. There's more. I take some. So uh, <laughs> what, what's so cool about uh, all these uh, tools Makita. here? They're getting wet. It's raining outside. Durability. Battery operated. Check this out. Maybe Maybe this is a truck that we need for a job site. You bring this whole truck and then you can uh, check out all the different tools. Damn, I didn't know Makita made. Yeah. You got a truck like this to run on gutters, yeah? Yeah, I didn't know Makita made lawnmowers. I wonder if, uh, looks like 36 volts. We got our Makita wheelbarrow. Three wheel wheel, three wheel wheelbarrow. Whew, that's a tongue twister. Okay, well, I don't know. But that's a cool truck. Looks like a Ford. They got a whole setup in there. 40 volts. <laughs> it's probably the world's largest grinder. Wow. All sorts of tools and impacts. What is this? Oh, some kind of blow. What is this? It's a leaf blower for a Oh, it's like for. That's interesting. You can also have an adapter to blow out your uh, air mattress. Oh, it's like for for air mattresses. That's cool. Uh, no, you can use it uh, to clean up shelving on your garage. I've got everything. Cool. So, I think I got one of these. So many different tools. We're on YouTube. Any anything we can uh, learn new around here? What's your uh, latest tools here? Grinders. Well, you have that's pretty. You have all the forty volt stuff is new, and you have the uh, power cut. So you guys are getting into lawn care now, huh? I mean, you've been, but this stuff is all getting wet. It's okay, yeah. <laughs> That's a good feature in lawn care. Huh. Yeah, so here you're displaying that water doesn't affect anything. Right? Well, I mean, look at that, folks. It's just getting wet. But Makita has the best warranty. In town, too. I, I, I use all Makita as well, so. I take it down to the airport way. They fix my stuff like in a day or two. Yeah. So where's the food at? Maybe we need to go eat go first. Up, up against the wall there. Cool, and then maybe we can chat later. Yep. All right. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get some food and then we'll uh, see if we can uh, check out some more tools. All right, this store is busy. 
Everything's on sale. They even have a service station over there for all your tools. Amazing. A Makita freezer. Oh, that's a heater. Whoa, it's hot inside. 135 degrees. Did not know that. Whoa. Put your gloves in there to warm up. Very cool. All right, uh, so we're, we're at the bot. This is Bosch, right? No, no, no. Norski. 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 <laughs> I thought you were Bosch. Okay, no, so. Bosch is there, though. Okay, so what, what do we got? Just bits? We just got bits. So we've been making bits for 23 years. 23 years? That's as, almost as long as I lived. You're younger than that. Come on. <laughs> so the big cool thing about the bit, this little skinny part, the torsion zone, uh -huh. what that does, it actually, as it's finishing the drive, it's going to keep connection with the screw. It's going to flex, so you're going to get a lot more torque, a lot more power with the product. You're not going to lose uh, connection with the screw. Okay, my favorite is the five-star connectors. They ne never strip. Torx is the best. Yeah, the Phillips is gone. It's no good. We still make them, but they're going away. You'll going away, yeah, that, I figure. So you want to show me how this performs with the live screw, or...? Oh, I don't have any torque screws out here. We're just it's unfortunate. You don't have any screws. No, no, no. I mean, you I have. I can show you how it holds up in performance this way. So you can just use it. <laughs> See how it doesn't lose connection there. <laughs> uh, it doesn't strip. So yeah. it's it's like a different metal or something. <laughs> That's cool. Yes. And they're compatible to uh, all the tools, not just Makita, right? Uh, by all means, that's just the drill I have for my demo. But it works cool, anyway. cool. So you got bit attachments. What, what is this thing, for sheetrock? Yeah. Nope. We do have those as well, but this just turns any one-inch bit into a bit extension. So it's a bit extension, basically. Yes, if I put it in right, though, that is pretty cheap. you got a question. So yeah, you just put it in like so. Okay. And then you take your screw and just drive it over the top. Nice. So do people... Uh, and you're wearing gloves, so I'm assuming these bits are easy to handle, oh, yeah. even with gloves. Oh, yeah, I'm wearing gloves because it's cold out, but normally okay. I wouldn't be, but uh, we've been outside all day. So, Norski, is that like a, a name brand in Home yeah. Depot or Lowe's or no, your no boxer? Home you're only going to see us in a place like Charles H. Day. You'll see us so in the like yards. And specialty in tools. Industrial yards, yeah, but nothing in the home centers. Okay, so you can order online as well, right? At the uh, Norski well, we Tools? Don't sell direct, but you can definitely go there and they'll tell, us, tell you where dealers. We've got dealers okay. all throughout the country. Cool, and your name was? I'm Blake. Thanks, Blake. Okay, thank you. All right, so we're checking out the saw stop. Check it out. This table saw, if you're using it and you accidentally slip, will save your fingers. We're going from basically, yeah, the bottom. So this mechanical device right here is also computerized somehow so maybe we'll, maybe we'll have this uh, guy show us how exactly this works but i just found out that here in oregon manufactured designed in my home state right, we are here with uh what is a saw stop and uh we got a display here so what exactly is this uh, saw stop and how does it work? So we are one of the only tape saw manufacturers that has safety built in, uh, into the machine itself. And it all starts with this brake uh, brake cartridge that activates when anything conductive. As a human, uh, we test hot dogs. Uh, aluminum comes into contact with the uh, brake cartridge. It will expand and shoot this spring out jam the aluminum block into the blade, spinning at 4,000 RPM. And it will actually drop below the uh, tabletop in less than five milliseconds. So the actual blade will fall down? Wow, that's pretty cool, yep. so. It'll fall down, turn off the machine, and the worst that you'll have is maybe a Band-Aid cut. Band-Aid, oh, I like Band-Aid versus a, a loose finger. Amputation, <laughs> yeah, it's better so than an amputation. So when did you guys start? 
So we started at around 2000. We're out of Portland, uh, Oregon. Our headquarters is in Tualatin, about 20 minutes south. And we ship all over Canada and, and North America and the United States. So 23 years? Yep. And I'm on 23. Are you guys the only company that does these, uh, or is there more? No, we're the only company that has the patent technology to be able to uh, stop the blade that quickly and that cost effectively and, and not ruin your life or someone else's life that you may care about or know. So. Okay, how many uh, of these have you sold after somebody came with a loose finger? Three out of four people come afterwards. We are asking that you come before, before. the accident actually so. Maybe uh, buy this before you lose a finger. Why wait? Why, Why wait? Yeah, so price. What are we looking for? I know you got different styles, different All you, all you have to do is go to our website, or today we're at Charles Day here in Milwaukee, Oregon. They'd love to have, be able to help you out, but you can find all our pricing on our website. It does not change. Okay, what's the website? Is it so, uh, stop. Saw stop. Is that it? Yep, sawstop.com. Yes, sir. It's right there. All right. So maybe later on today, we're going to do a live demonstration to show you how you can save your finger. All right. So here's that blade. It actually jams into this aluminum, so it's instant stop. The cartridge is one-time use, right? Correct. Once And this cartridge is 90 bucks? $95. $95 for the that's cheaper than your visit to the doctor, right? Like, way cheaper. All right. And it works for all all sorts of blades, or? Uh, it's only 10 inch. It's gotta be 10 inch blade. It's gotta be a 10 inch blade. Awesome. So right now the blade is hidden. And we will do a, a hot dog versus blade. So there's the inside of the machine. How difficult is it to replace it? Uh, the, there's a key that's inserted in the, into each brake. All you have to do is take out that key and it slides in and out. And then once it's activated and attached to the actual blade, it just comes out together. So you remove the, uh, the wing nut so and the bearing. You don't have to take the whole thing to the shop or anything? Okay, just make sure to unplug it before you get your hands well, in there. It won't even actually, uh, once, it won't even allow you to turn it on. So oh, okay. even if you don't unplug it and you've got your hand in there, it's completely safe. It will not, there's no way you can. <laughs> but still, uh, rule of thumb is unplug. Yes, for safety, unplug it. Yeah. Cool, all right. We got a crowd here and we're going to be uh, doing this demonstration. For Saw Stop, thanks for coming out to check our demo today. We urge folks not to wait and to buy Saw Stop because every nine minutes in the country, a, a table saw accident actually occurs out of those accidents, 10 amputations every single day. So we as a, as a company are saying, we have the technology, we've been around for 20 plus years, why wait, right? So the way that it works is there is a brake cartridge in all our models. And this brake cartridge can be bought from Charles Day right now today for $95. And it works by connecting this microprocessor into the onboard computer mechanics, which introduces three volts of electricity through the arbor to the blade. And we as humans are conductive. This hot dog, salt, wet, beautiful delicacy is, uh, is also conductive. And once it measures that out, it trips a 600 pound spring that jams this aluminum block into the blade, which then comes out in one piece like this. You do have to replace the cartridge and we do recommend replacing the blade after an activation. But it all happens in less than five milliseconds, 10 times faster than your car airbag can deploy. And most of the time I recommend putting it on slow motion because the angular momentum and when it when it triggers will drive the blade beneath the table and shut the power off and you're usually wondering what just happened right but for the most part you're talking to a manager reporting the incident slapping a band-aid on and you're going back to work and you're not losing a finger hallelujah so uh, 60 seconds uh, so we found out that the hard way yeah so what i what i do is not i don't turn on the machine until now and the reason why i wait till now is because once i flip this switch 
The computer goes through a list of diagnostics. You got red and green lights that are blinking down below. It's making sure that the brake and everything is, it checks out. And I had the paddle pushed in so it wouldn't even have let me start the machine. So now I've got everything set up correctly. I got a green light. I can go ahead and start. Is everybody ready? ready. Yes, sir. Okay, scoot over to the side. It's the sound wow. inside. It's about 10 What just loud. happened? Let's take a look at this hot dog. That's it? Wow. So a little bit Fingers saved. Wow, good job. And you're not heading off to the hospital to have surgery. So how much does this table saw cost? This one, uh, as you see it, is fifteen seventy nine. One thousand five hundred seventy nine. So it's not even that bad. Not bad at all. And this one is eight ninety nine. It's our first table saw that we've introduced under a thousand dollars. Under a thousand bucks, you can get one of those, and then obviously. Uh, and the main difference is this can take dado stacks, dado capability, to make uh, you know those rabbit channel cuts. And this one, uh, this one cannot take those, but this one can. Wow! Amazing. Good job. Thank you. All right, so here we go. He's gonna take it apart. So you do it from the top, right? Yeah, everything is accessed. This model is accessed from the side, but on this one, you go you go straight from the top. But cool. So a little demonstration on how to change the every table saw is gonna be pretty similar as far as the uh, the washer and the bolt, and that needs to be loosened up first. So you gotta change the, both the blade and the yep, cartridge. It'll, it'll come out in one piece uh, since they're mated together right now. So I'm just kind of loosening it, up. loosening it up so we can make that happen. Perfect. And let me go to the back side. Do you have the information by chance? Information, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. And then what I do is uh, I kind of use the, the wrenches. So this is where you need gloves, where you, Correct. you don't want to slip and beat your hands up. Absolutely. But so, I do all the time, and I believe... So this guy is the pro. <laughs> I don't know about that. And the machine is still plugged in, right? Yeah, the power's turned off. But in. this thing is so jammed that it's not going to spin anything, so you're fine here. There's no way that this device can come off. Right now, it's, 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 it's not possible. So now you're just sliding it out. Try to, yep. It takes, you have to get it just right so it doesn't walk. So it has to slide evenly out. Correct. Yeah, if it doesn't, then I've got to go back and then try again. So maybe in the future, this is something that you guys can improve on, yeah? No, the it's replacing just, or, it's, or it's good enough? It's just me. <laughs> I'm one of the slower ones in the company. My, my, my peers can do it in about a minute and a half. A minute more, and a half? I'm more about three minutes. All right, so there's the cartridge that we just came out. The key actually comes in. And the key actually will lock into the unit. Got so, it, so it's locked in. So it's locked in, it's not moving. And then that microprocessor is what connects. And it looks like that when you're looking overhead. It'll be positioned like that. Nice. There it is. Something fell out. I don't know what that thing is. It's part, of the, uh, it's part of the spring. So when Got the spring it. mechanism... Uh, shoots up and expires you'll see some debris as far as got it, got it. the internal component. so this spring is 600 pounds of force that's what i've been told yep. man that's a powerful spring that all happens in less than five milliseconds five milliseconds <laughs> so it's the sound wow inside it's about 10 what times just louder. happened Let's take a look at this hot dog. That's it? Wow. 
Fingers saved. Wow, good job. And you're not heading off to the hospital to have surgery. To Your hands up. Absolutely. But so, I do all the time, and I believe. So this all guy is the pro. The uh, half. I'm more about three months. All right, so there's the cartridge that we just came out. That's one big truck. Very good advertising. Right, we're gonna check out this demo right here. What is this, one inch? That's pretty thick. And this tool is called, what, what is it called? It's a flush cutter. Flush cutter. Is it gonna be loud? Probably a little. All right, we're gonna see how it works. I'll probably stand back and zoom in because I don't want to get in my eyes. So here we go. One inch. on this is gonna fall off oh it's not too tight but look at that cut just by touching it just a little bit wow so is this called the prison escape tool or you <laughs> yeah. said there was another name for it yeah that's it prison escape <laughs> put, put that bake that into a cake and then you hand it off <laughs> wow so it's just got like a little grinder yep. amazing so anyway Pretty cool setup. Lots of garden tools, all sorts, all flavors. The 40 volts are my favorite. Very nice. So you don't need to have extension cords. You even have a concrete saw with a battery. Look at this, you can put screws. I guess for like sheet rockers or something. Unlimited, really fast. Look at this battery, folks. Huge. All sorts of fun tools here. Not sure what this is. Probably uh, some sort of drill. So all your... Uh, Makita tools for all your needs. More garden tools, weed whackers, hedge trimmers, radio, band saws, grinders. Oh, look at this, a mini saw for concrete. That's pretty cool. Looks like somebody's gonna be doing a real demo here. I don't know, maybe. I don't know what happened last time. He uh, couldn't cut it because it moved. It wasn't strong enough. You gonna, you gonna cut it? So it could be used in other, uh, other applications. And it's just, there's nothing, it's not like it's separate batteries, it is, that is the battery. So, it's not like there's like six. It's not hot at all. Wow. All right, that was fun. We uh, got to cut some uh, hot dogs with the blade. Not really. The blade uh, got stopped. Uh, five milliseconds, wow. So we did some uh, cold cutting. That was a one inch bar over there. We had some pizza. It was a blast. Uh, there were lots of people there checking out the tools from Makita and different other brands. Their truck was pretty cool. Awesome display. 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.